Okay, so let's just do the quick run over for the guy that wants to watch five seconds of video and get straight to the point. All right, so here's my car as it stands today. This has the QA1 single dampering adjustable setup on the front QA1 coilovers. It has an 18 click system. The higher the click you go, the more stiff the car feels. All right, you can go all the way to zero, make it a boat if you want, go all the way to 18, and it feels like you're riding basically on a rigid frame. <clears throat> so when I did it, I did it in pieces. I'll show you the pictures as we go. But anyways, QA1 coilovers up front, single damper control. I bought the needle bearing kit. It is absolutely a good thing to buy. It makes it easier to adjust them when they're on the car. Uh, it, just get it. It's cheap enough. You're already spending a few hundred bucks on these pieces. Just spend the forty dollars or whatever it was. Get the needle bearing kit. You put it in between the left, the spring and the very last lock nut. Okay. Put Permatex aluminum anti seize lubricant on the threads of the coilover. Put it on the needles of the needle bearings. All that stuff uh, makes things a lot easier and it also keeps it from binding up when the little bit of corrosion happens that aluminum gets. Uh, so that's the coilovers. Uh, when I was in there, I also replaced the Moog. I mean, Moog's the brand, you get other brands, but the, uh, uh, the bushing that goes up in the upper control arm, or it actually goes into the frame of the car. So replace that too while you're in there. They're cheap. O'Reilly's carries them. Um, I replaced the front sway bar. It's not a necessity. I replaced it with an exact copy of the one that was on there as far as size goes, but I think it was a little more rigid. It's made by Detroit Speed or Hotchkiss, one of those. Honestly, I don't think you're going to see any major difference, whatever one you buy. Moving forward to the rear of the car, I did the two inch Summit leaf spring drop kit. Dropped the car two inches in the back. I didn't want to do the blocks and spacer things. I just think that's lame. Um, but I can see the benefit to it now having done it my way. Two inch drop leaf springs in the back. I did the QA1. Uh, they're not coilovers in the back, but they are a, damp a single damper control shop for the back, which also has the 18 click system. Once again, stiffness of the ride is what I think it's going for. I did, however, upgrade the rear sway bar. The first one was a very thin one. The diameter of it was less than an inch. I upgraded it to something like one and three eighths or something like that. Um, it was significantly larger. The ride is a lot rougher than the factory ride, but lower in the car, you should kind of know that going into it. Um, anyways, sway bar in the back, partly to replacing the sway bar because they didn't offer the uh, drop links for the factory sway bar, which I see they do offer now. And had I done it today, I would have left the rear sway bar knowing what I know now. Because it is not, I don't pro tour race it. It would be cool, but there's no place around here that offers anything like that. So, you know, me driving it back roads and things like that, you know, I would have rather had the more comfortable ride, but it's too late for all that. Um, replaced everything shackles and stuff like that all the bushings uh, of course the leaf springs come with the front bushing already in it you have to get the bushings for the back or get the shackle kit that'll have the bushings with it and the nuts and bolts it's kind of a pain in the ass to do with the gas tank in the car but you can do it with some ratchet wrenches I would suggest just dropping the tank if it's part of your plan and do it all at once. Um, then the next thing is the rims and tires. I have 17 by nine year one snowflake wheels and it's wrapped in Nitto GT555 G2 tires. Okay. Something to note is that 
I've seen guys let the tire company or let Summit or any of these people pick the tire for their car. If you let them do that, they're going to pick you out a 45 sidewall or a 35 sidewall. Your car is going to look like crap. Just saying. Even if you lower it, it's still going to look lame to me. Not that my opinion counts, but if you want it to look like mine, get yourself a 50 sidewall, 255s all the way around, and it'll look sweet. That's the rundown. That's all the parts to put it together. There you go.